thank the president. I thank the gentleman from Oregon for his leadership bringing the, the message of the harm being done to our natural world. And I thank you for your leadership. And I thank uh, uh, Senator uh, Cardin for taking this delegation of 10 members to uh, Paris. And I thank, uh, I thank you for having this session out here on the floor. And I'm just going to speak briefly. And it's to say this, we're at an inflection point. We're at a point where the danger to the planet is clear. 2014 was the warmest year ever recorded. This past November is the longest, is the warmest November ever recorded. October was the warmest October ever record, recorded. There is now a warming of our planet that is intensifying dangerously. And we have to act in order to avoid the most catastrophic consequences. That is what's happening in, in Paris right now. The United States is leading. The rest of the world has come together. And we have a chance to have a very good agreement. And we are going to have the president's back because the 1992 treaty under which he's negotiating was ratified by this body. The Clean Air Act that he's operating under was passed by this body. The clean power rules, the increase in fuel economy standards, they're all part of law. Senator's time has expired. May I ask for an additional one minute to speak? Is there objection? Without objection. I thank you. But yet, this afternoon, and I think for the continuation of the next week, the Republicans and the American petroleum industry are going to try to lift the ban on the exportation of American oil that could lead to more drilling for millions of barrels of oil on our soil, while at the same time not giving a simultaneous, equal extension of wind and solar tax breaks so that we can continue this revolution that we are bragging about in Paris right now to the rest of the world. And these two things do not go together. You cannot simultaneously drill for more oil that is not drilled for today and then have an ending of the wind and solar tax breaks as they're kicking in. You cannot preach temperance from a bar stool. You cannot uh, preach temperance as you're putting up new uh, oil rigs and saying simultaneously the wind and solar tax breaks are going to end and end soon. You have to have both if there's going to be a deal. And right now, that's in question in this chamber, in this body. And it's important for the American people to know that answer because in Paris, they're waiting for this answer. There's 190 nations that want to know, are we actually going to do what we say that we're going to do uh, in this agreement that we are trying to reach, uh, the most important agreement for this century in terms of the well-being of the planet? I thank uh, the president for allowing me that uh, courtesy, and I thank the senator from Utah uh, for his forbearance, and I yield back.